<laughs> that's a lot of ammo coming out of this little plinker. Guys, this is the brand new six hour P322. Let's get into the video. All right, let me take my ears out real quick. Where we're going to do some talking, all right? This is a brand new rimfire pistol put out by Sig Sauer. Now, you may be familiar with another 22 pistola that Sig used to make uh, back in the day. And let's be honest, it wasn't their best work. Uh, I'm talking about the Sig Mosquito. Now, some of the Sig Mosquitoes ran fine, uh, but the majority of them had a lot of problems. This is not a Sig Mosquito. The first thing that you may think about when you see this is in the first question in my mind, was this manufactured or designed, not manufactured, but designed by um, the people who designed the Taurus TX-22? Uh, and the answer is no, it's a flat out no. Uh, I got a lot of time behind this pistol the past couple of weeks, I actually went down to Florida with SIG and took a class on this pistol and uh, let their marketing people tell me what separates this pistol from pretty much anything and everything that's out on the market. The 322 was all designed in-house at SIG. I found a lot of stuff out about uh, the company, uh, SIG Salyer, while I was on the trip. And they have over 350 engineers on staff to do product developing, uh, designing, and they really knocked it out of the park with this P322. Uh, when we were in Florida, we shot over 3,000 rounds through a pistol that had not been cleaned, that had already been on another event. In 3,000 rounds, we had two light primer strikes. That's it. I can testify first and foremost that this is probably one of the most reliable 22 pistols that I have ever shot. SIG is not paying me to say this. Uh, I'm not sponsored by SIG. I'm just giving you guys the facts. Um, comes with a 20 round magazine. Actually, it comes with two 20 round magazines. Yes, you heard me correctly. 20 rounds of 22 LR. It comes with your standard rail here on the bottom for mounting a flashlight or laser. Fiber octave sight, front and rear. The rear sight is also adjustable for windage and elevation. Mount right here on the back so you can put any kind of micro red dot on it that you want. This is the CT Rad Micro Pro and it has a 5 MOA green red dot in it. But let's go over some of the things that sets this pistol apart. This pistol is super easy to take apart and clean. Let's make sure it is empty. I'm gonna take the magazine out. Firearm is empty. And I have shot this pistol over a thousand times and I have not cleaned it yet. So you simply lay the slide down. I'm trying to do this backwards here. Flip this lever up, you pull the slide back up and you're good to go. That's all it is, uh, disassembly of the pistol. You can clean everything that you need to clean with it just right here. It has a fixed barrel and it is hammer fired. It is not striker fire. Uh, it comes with a uh, flat trigger, but it also comes in the box with a curved trigger. You can simply just pop this trigger off, pop the curved trigger on there if you uh, so desire to shoot it with a curved trigger. Uh, but there is a lot of things going on here. Um, there are so many reasons to like this pistol uh, compared to a lot of other things that are on the market. Just for the accuracy, the reliability is key when talking about rimfire. The ergonomics and the 20 rounds of firepower in the magazine. So if you top it off, that's 21 rounds of plinking out of one mag. To put it back together, it's simple. Take your slide, pop it back, bring it to the rear, let it drop down, and you're good to go. Flip your little lever like so. That's it. That's a very simple way of disassembling this pistol, cleaning it, and now let's get into my favorite part of the video. Let's shoot it. All right, I have 20 rounds of CCI Mini Max. Let's just do some shooting. Hundred yards. <laughs> it's almost boring. All right, 
you're probably thinking to yourself, well, it's almost the perfect pistol, but it's not threaded for my suppressor. Well, actually it is. It comes with a uh, suppressor adapter, so we're gonna shoot it suppressed here in a minute. You simply just take that off, put it on the adapter, and you can shoot it with a suppressor. One of the things that SIG prides themselves with is when they were designing this pistol, they wanted it to shoot every ammunition that's out on the market. They wanted to just shoot standard velocity, high velocity, hyper velocity, subsonics. I've got some CCI subsonics here, hollow point. We're just gonna see how they shoot, see if they cycle. CCI subsonics worked flawlessly. All right, I am going to now take this little barrel adapter off here, put the suppressor on. I haven't shot this particular pistol suppressed yet, but we're gonna run through some other ammunition, some, some suppressor ammunition that's pretty low velocity. Let's see if we can get this SIG to function. All right, I now have my suppressor on here. This is a Silencer Coast Sparrow. I've got loaded up a couple of magazines of the CCI suppressor clean ammunition. This stuff is not going very fast and it's really designed for rifles. And if this pistol can cycle it, it's a testament to this firearm. So let's just shoot it. I, I know good and well that my point of aim is going to have to change with the suppressor, but we're going to just see how close it is here. Oh, that's quiet. I'm gonna shoot the bank. Just listen how quiet it is. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. It's not off too bad. 100 yards. Ran the suppressor ammo just fine. <laughs> if I'm giggling on purpose, it's because this firearm really makes me happy. Now, I mentioned that it does come with two 20 round magazines. That's the bad thing because when you're shooting rimfire, you want to shoot it fast, you shoot it up, and you spend the majority of your time loading magazines. However, SIG is going to be coming out with 25 round magazines and 10 round magazines for those states where it can be compliant. So, here, uh, Briefly after they release this pistol, you will be able to get 25 round magazines for this little setup. All right, let's see what else we can talk about. Um, everything on here is ambi. So you have an ambi slide release and an ambi safety. You got the serrations on the front and the rear to allow you to uh, manipulate the slide. Uh, they're really aggressive, they feel good. The grip in my hand feels like mmm, butter. And it's just a fun little plinker. And uh, I wished I had about 50 magazines where I could just load them up and just shoot one after another to show you guys the reliability of this pistol, but only have two. So let's just do some more shooting. <laughs> 20 rounds goes pretty quick. All right, let's see what else we can shoot here. Let's go for the dueling tree here. All right, I wanted to see something. I am curious. That is the first malfunction that I've had out of this pistol, and it's the ammo. It hit the primer very hard. There is a big indention in that primer, so it was not the firearm's fault. So over a 1,000 rounds, and I've had a light primer strike. That's it. Now, I'm glad it happened on camera. That way, I want to be honest with everything that I tell you guys. Man, does it ever want to seem to run out of ammo? <laughs> I'm used to those 10 rounds in my head. I'm like, all right, this thing should be getting low. And it just keeps going. Uh, so whether you have high velocity, hyper velocity, standard velocity, subsonics, this pistol is going to function great. And I can't be more pleased with it. I think this is going to be the top rimfire pistol for 2022. Uh, with the magazine capacity, the grip, the ergonomics, and you're probably asking yourself, 
what is this pistol going to cost? Is it going to be the $700 rimfire pistol? Um, if you know anything about Six Hour, they are a little pricey, but you get a good product with it. I've been told that, that this pistol is gonna run around $400. All right, $400 for all of this, which is pretty awesome. And I will tell you one thing, this is a big no-no with rimfires. So the firearm is clear, dry fire, okay? That is a big no-no with uh, rimfire pistols and rifles. But I talked to the engineers uh, at SIG and they said that this pistol is 100% okay to dry fire. They have dry fired them up to 5,000 times. Nothing happened to the gun. The gun still goes bang. Uh, it doesn't wear out the firing pin. Um, it doesn't put the indention on the barrel face or anything like that. So it's okay to dry fire. So if you just want some trigger time, practice that trigger control uh, and get some dry fire time, you can dry fire this pistol. What else can I talk about? I think that's about it. I'm pretty sure I missed something, but if I did, you guys can ask those questions in the comments below. And this is a really, really fun little plinker. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, like I mentioned before, put them in the comments below. Until next time, y'all be safe and keep plinking. Mm -hmm.